Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic. One of the things I love about the, the Transformers fandom is um, you know, the, the subset of fans that do customs and paint on the figures. You know, I meddle with the Sharpie and, you know, make a mess of my figures here and there. But I chat to this nice chap called John, who runs the Teletran Wookiee Facebook Customs, Arts and Photography group on Facebook and it's it's a wonder source of going and looking at figures that have been you know either improved on or completely altered it's just something that really interests me and it's something that I've wanted to st start showcasing on our, our channel for a while but I do not have any artistic talent aforementioned um sharpieing like you know I, I, I scribbled on this which you it's so subtle you can barely even tell, but trust me, there's scribbles. <laughs> but in this video, John has recorded a, you know, how he does a painting on one of his little figures. It's something I hope pops up every now and then, so we can show off some of his works. Uh, like I said, there's a link to his Facebook group down below. But for this, I will see you later, and now I'll hand over to John. Thank you very much. Hi guys, uh... I came across a lucky find today on my way home from work, nipped into the local B&M store and uh, I came across these two gorgeous little battle masters. Only three quid each? Bargain. You can't say no can you really? So anyway, what I'm going to be doing is, it's going to be a short video on uh, painting this guy. Now, great looking figure, but there's a hell of a lot of detail in that white that needs to be exploited. So, that is what I'm going to be doing tonight. I do apologise guys if you were expecting a video on something a little bit more spectacular, but this is going to be, you know, quick and easy, so to speak. And also on the ale. Yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started. So, I've got uh, several different types, well, four different types of ink wash here. All different light, different shades. What was that noise? That was your phone, Dylan, wasn't it? Yeah, told you to turn that off. Right, yeah, by the way, Dylan is my cameraman. I do have a tripod. But my phone that I'm recording on at the moment, that Dylan's recording, is way too chunky to actually stand on my tripod. So, something I've got to fix in the future. All being well. Right, so, I've decided I'm going to use a strong tone wash on this guy. He's white. I need to bring out all those details. So, give it a shake. And... Pop a bit on there. <coughs> so, now, let's see how we can hold this. There, that might be a bit better. So now, dip into the ink, and all I'm going to do is splodge it. Bit of a stupid word, isn't it? Splodge. Yeah, splodge it around. So the idea is that just dabbing the ink actually helps it to go into the recesses in the mould. As you can see. Gets a little bit thick in some places, but not to worry. You can just keep dabbing the brush around. But also holding it that way, upright, as much as you can, will help the ink just flow into the recesses. Now, next thing I'm going to do... Well, I'll paint, I'll ink wash the other leg first. This brush isn't very good, don't like that. 
It's a new brush as well. A bit crap. So, as you can see, dab the ink around. So, I'm not actually painting or brushing it around, I'm just dabbing it. Soak up a little bit there with my brush. So, as you can see, it's bringing out the detail in the mold already. So, what I'm going to do now is because I can't wait for it to dry. Get the hair dryer. I have to excuse the noise. I'll put it on a low setting, but I will spread evenly across, you know, with the drying. So the idea is that I gently go across everything on a low setting so as to try not to blow the ink away if you get what I mean just did oh, I'll put my brush in there now aren't I just need to take that away a little bit that's okay. Right. Hi, guys. And, uh, in true Blue Peter style, I've done a, here's what we made earlier. So yeah, I carried on with the ink wash all around him. The back as well, back of his legs. But I left this arm in its original form, just for comparison. So you can see I've got the detail there. So next is going to be the dry washing. So let me have a swig of my beer first. Beer number three, get in. Yeah, and good tunes as well, Iron Maiden. Can't beat them. So I've got a choice of colors really. I'm thinking maybe ash gray because it's a little bit lighter. So, give it a good shake. I haven't used this one before, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. So, the idea is now that I'm going to be dry brushing over all that detail. And the brush I'm using is this one for dry brushing because as you can see it's got an angle on it, pretty thick brush. So what it is wipe the paint off the brush as much as, as much as I can. And then we'll start on the arm. So then we start dry brushing on the arm over all the detail. As you can see, it's already getting lighter. This ash grey colour is actually quite nice, to be honest with you. So, it's just a case of sporadically brushing around. 
but what you're doing is brushing over all of the raised areas on the mold. So you've already put your ink wash in and now you're brushing lightly over the top. So a little bit more. leg oh music stopped Alexa play the album killers by Alexa play the album killers by Iron Maiden doesn't always listen pain in the ass sometimes so yeah trying my best to actually brush the opposite way to the lines so we've got that detail there so the idea is brush down so that it actually picks up the paint across there oh, yeah I did say lightly dry brushing I was telling a feb because I'm actually kind of hammering this now. <laughs> so. Let's have a look at this. So, I don't know if you can see there. If the camera is clear enough. Forgive the, you know, recording. But we're still learning on this anyway. So there we've got, well, here, the original mold. On this leg, we've got the ink wash. And then we've used a grey to, to actually start highlighting. So in the next stage after this, we'll be highlighting even more, adding a little bit more white to the grey. And then going to be a soft tone ink wash over well that's going to be for another video guys because uh, my cameraman is getting very tired and uh, he needs to go to bye byes so thanks for watching anyway guys and uh, I do hope this is of some use to you if not well I enjoyed making the video anyway well with Dylan cheers Dylan thank you very much Anyway guys, take care, see you later. Huh? Welcome back guys. So this is going to be stage 3 of the video. So, back to the start. Original colour there. On this leg we've got the ink wash. And here we've got the ash grey dry brushing to actually start the highlighting process what I'm going to be doing now is showing you how to highlight even lighter with the dry brushing so I'll get me white and I'll mix it with my ash grey that I've already got here so a bit in there I'll mix it up with the crap brush. Yes, this rubbish brush can be my new mixing brush. Yeah, that'll do. Excellent. Tight. 
to be honest with you might as well start dry brushing with this one right so move that out of the way we're gonna focus on the highlighting process on this leg so naturally I've added white to the grey and I'm gonna well I don't even know what I'm talking about now so yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dry brushing the opposite way to the actual mold yeah that makes more sense to me yeah. beer is a wonderful thing so as you can see it's getting lighter let me just turn that up. So, yeah. You do get a really nice effect with dry brushing, you do. It is the cheetah's way, I suppose, to get the effect that you want. I mean, there is blending that takes some time a hell of a lot of time that does but it does have a beautiful effect so I'm gonna add some more white to this I'm gonna highlight it more and let's mix it up with my crappy brush So, the idea is that gradually this grey is going to look almost white. I don't want it looking too white though because I make them look too clean. All my transformers have to look battle damaged. Think about it, they've been fighting against one another for millions and millions of years. They're not going to look pristine and squeaky clean, are they? No. They're going to look fucked up. They're going to have scars. The paint's going to be chipped. They are going to look battered. Veterans of the war. So, as you can see, oh, it's picking that up really, really nice. Quite, quite happy with that. For a little guy, you're doing well. Not on about you, Don. On about this transformer here. <laughs> so I'm going really lightly over there, but it's picking up. Some nice detail there. So, what I'm going to do now is go a touch lighter. I need to buy myself some new paint as well. Yeah. That's going to have to wait until next payday. Unfortunately. As long as I've got enough white paint to actually uh, continue working on my sandstorm, I'll be happy. Now, that is picking it up really, really nice. Here is 
obviously the guy's still not finished yet but we've got several stages there we go original first ink wash the dry brushing base and then adding the highlights so with this with this leg I would keep adding as much white as I need until it's until the raised areas are highlighted even more then if it starts looking a little bit too chalky I'd use a soft tone ink wash that turns it down a little bit but still keeps the highlights there anyway that's it for tonight guys I do hope you actually find these videos useful and I'll see you later take care good night Plastic.